Hey everybody, Frank here, Godzilla Island, back with a review of Common Rider Zero One, Issue Two. Check out this sweet cover. This whole series has some really awesome art. Um, last we left off with Issue One, Aruto was down for the count and seemingly about to be defeated and hurt. So let's see where we are in this issue two here. We're right back where we left off with Ragnarok overlooking Aruto. Uh, he's about to finish him off with his gigantic sword and he begins getting shot at by Yua and Isamu, our Vulcan and Valkyrie riders. Um, they're just shooting at him. Bullets don't seem to be affecting it and Ragnarok decides to blast back with his own powers and they hench in into the Vulcan and Valkyrie riders. And they begin fighting him. Aruto gets up, joins the fight, while Ragnarok is distracted. But uh, they're giving him some good hits, but it's seemingly completely ineffective. So you know what? Aruto goes, why don't we just all combine our powers and use our best attacks on him at the same time. And he uses his rising impact hit. Uh, Vulcan and Valkyrie use their bullet shooting blast and dash rushing blast on Ragnarok and Ragnarok takes a hit but soon after seemingly explodes and it leaves behind this crater but they detect a hole at the bottom of the crater so they don't think that he really fully exploded and he's kind of made up of like a strange uh, mixture of particles so they think he might not be a solid mass at some points and he might be able to disperse his body into different pieces and just kind of travel throughout the world so they don't think that they're quite out of the clear yet with Ragnarok and uh, uh, they Aruda's kind of like getting crap again from Isamu and Yuda and uh, Yuda. They're kind of like, you know, just left you like a little while ago. Told you to be a little more responsible. And look at all this destruction you caused with this guy over here. And Aruda's like, oh, I didn't plan on getting attacked, but this is what happened. And he kinda, they kind of leave him feeling bad about himself. He's like, am I really a failure as a writer? as a writer and he gives a little flashback he's like I really wish my dad was here right now to kind of give me some advice and get a little flashback of a scene where he's walking with his dad to the train and a guy runs by knocks over an old lady the dad kind of saves her from falling and dad kind of explains hey this guy's got a wife and kids he's like scanned them with this device and he has a big interview today where he's going to get a promotion and he really needs this money for his family. The guy works really hard and he didn't realize what he did, but one day he will and maybe he'll get the chance to apologize. So Aruda is back at the HQ of his company and he's talking to Izu and he asked her if there's any way that he could help, she could help him uh, be a better strategist when it comes to fights. So she bring him to this like kind of simulation room and he, she's like yeah see if you navigate this course properly it'll help you build strategy and whatnot and while he's running this course um the course kind of gets hacked again and Ragnarok shows up but he's just like I don't think he's completely here but he's somewhat here it's this room that he's using to control his projection here but he could still hurt you in here so Aruto transforms begins fighting Ragnarok again um, kind of holding his own this time around and one -on with his little one-on-one -on -one. and then they kind of get distracted and Ragnarok jumps down and hacks the core of the building and begins to take over all the human gears in the hidden intelligence tower where they are now. So all the human gears, like I mentioned earlier, they're like these android combos here. Izu's even a human gear. 
And they begin kind of causing mass destruction in the building. There's these bat human gears. They love having the bats in Kamen Rider. And they join the fight. And uh, Maruta's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to take on all these human gears plus Ragnarok. So Ragnarok's about to like deliver a final blow once again on Aruto. And... We get this big explosion in the tower, and there's Yua and this, and we're like, really? We literally just left that kid, and here we go again. There's a massive tower explosion. They're like, we can't, this guy can't give us a break here. Uh, this one, we didn't get as many variant covers, but we still got a good amount of variant covers for this issue. This was the main cover here. Cover B, cover C. I got the FOC cover. Really, really sweet cover. Um, so they've done some awesome art for this. I really like the computery, cyberpunkish aspect of this story so far. I'm not very familiar with Common Rider Zero One. I just have the Blu ray. So let me know what you think about this series, how Titan bought. How Titan Comics and Stonebot have done with this uh, series so far. I recommend at this point, if you haven't picked it up yet, to kind of wait out for the trade paperback because that is coming out. I will link that down below in the comments description section and uh, you can pre order that if you like. I think this is going to be a great series to binge read as a trade paperback. Uh, it's only four issues, so. Check back for when I review issue 3 and 4.